It's the final lockdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Sorry, I I was trying to do the bass line, but I didn't know. Oh shit! I was singing a different song before, so I was surprised you went with that one. Had you, you had you pre-planned it? No, I just thought of it then. Do you want to do another one? I do want to do what I was singing before. I think Let's it's a it. very clever Weird Al Yankovic would be proud of this parody. Mm. <laughs> Instead of Mum and Me, I get this He guy. actually died of coronavirus, Weird Al. Did he? No, that's fake news. I just made that up for no reason. Yeah. That's what you can expect in this show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear your song. Everyone's ready. Okay. Gonorrhea, here we I go again. again. Gonorrhea mm. in my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's, it's good. <laughs> it's just. Can you get gonorrhea of the butthole? I don't know. Mm. Um, call in if you've had it. Uh, one eight hundred sixty nine sixty nine yeah, yeah, gonorrhea. Yeah. It's quite a long. Uh, mm. What if someone's got reaching for the phone right now? Going fuck. Okay, he's finally. Imagine <laughs> if I get through. The phone starts ringing. We mm. didn't even realize we had that set up. I'm about to sneeze. I think I've got it. I think I got the coronavirus. Ooh. Well, the, so uh, <coughs> welcome to our. This would this be our second official coronavirus uh, podcast? Yeah, um, S- and it's not going well. I've already got the virus. Tom just sneezed on me, well, so I've got it now in. too. If, uh, <laughs> Legit, I didn't even do the fucking recommended <laughs> sneeze technique, bro. God that's damn. the dab, isn't it? I'll tell you what was hard. Yesterday we did your. We were at your new material night. Yeah. And a few people went in for handshakes and I didn't want to be a shit bloke and I shook a few hands. I shook some hands too. God I definitely it. did. I uh Niceness over life. That's I feel, what I, I feel weird about it. At first I tried to make some jokes and do the elbows because I didn't care about their hands. I just didn't want to give it to them accidentally. Sure. But then I was like, there's no way they would s- suspect me. You know what I mean? If they get it, they're not going to think, oh, it was that one time I touched Frenchie. They'd probably think it was... Like the garbage bin, their right. mum. There's probably a lot more options. I'd probably be the I least mean, of the suspects. I think if they got it, your show would be in question because they'd retrace their steps and then everyone at the show would be fucked. Yeah, but that, that's why... Well, uh, what is they've banned under 100 people gatherings now or they're about to? Mm. I think it's just going to... Anything non-essential is not going to happen. Well, what would you say about orgies? I mean, if they were outdoor orgies? Yeah. That's okay. Because it's hard to do a social distancing orgy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you can shoot like a, like a, what's that, a mortar missile? Mm. So the ones that shoot up and then you try to land it on the, on the face or something. I guess an orgy with social distancing is just a whole bunch of people jerking off in a field. While they're looking at each other? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Mm. <laughs> we'll set one of them up. Like a soggy sayo. My brother had a few good chats about this stuff, so he's uh, he's all about this coronavirus. Has uh, he got it? Shout out to Matt. Matt's chats. Let's get in early. Oh, hello to our international listeners. Um, we're all we're all in this together. We're I all in this together, together and we've we got, got Corona virus from our the nipples. Bat. Okay, um. we, we need to work on our. Mm. We're not synced up yet. We're, We're not. not. We haven't done our warm up exercises. I distinctly saw you have your period. I'm like, I don't have my period right now. We are not mm. in sync, and that's how yeah. you know. Yeah. Um. So, but that's what's like. It's not cool that it's worldwide, but it's kind of cool. It's the pit bull of viruses, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> so fucking stupid. But at least, like, I don't know. I feel like. When the other ones were going SARS and bird flu and stuff. No one gave a fuck. No dude. one gave a fuck. And um and the poor Asian countries just had to cop it all by themselves. <laughs> yeah. And we just laughed. We did. <laughs> we just laughed. Mm. And um and now they we've all got it. We're like, you know what? We understand what you're going through. Mm. America, England. We don't fully understand what Italy's going through yet because they're just singing on balconies and shit. Yeah. What's that about? It's too community spirit for me. It is a lot of... Like I don't want to see my neighbours, <laughs> you know? I don't even watch the show Neighbours because it makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm like, mind your own business. Is the Italian version of Neighbours just them singing to each other? Yeah. You're gonna hear me roll. Is that the song they were singing or was it a lot? I think it was um, I Kissed a Girl. They were all singing that on the balcony. Like, well, that's why the they've got it so badly distance. in that country. Yeah. <laughs> True. Silly fellas. Stop kissing girls, you crazy Italians. I'm Borgiorno at Italy. Ah. It's because every time they eat pasta, they kiss in the middle of each strand. Ah, yep. That yeah. is the traditional I way to eat it. I saw it in a documentary. 
Documentary, you're all in that now. A documentary, am oh. I right? Oh. Hmm. Was it that called? Lady and the Tramp. And so the dog's the tramp. Yeah. And the la- the other dog's a lady. I guess so. Oh, fuck, I never really thought about that, eh? I haven't thought about it either. <laughs> <laughs> I never look at a dog on the street going, that's a lady of a dog. And when did like tramp mean homeless person and like a bit of a slutty chick? What's that about? That is a very good point. I feel yeah. like we need to uncover why tramp has so many meanings. Xander, can you look it up for us? Oh, wait. He's oh, wait. A, he's in a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Xander's in a bubble. <laughs> he was sick all weekend, guys, and he couldn't come to my show last night. And but he's like, I'll still come to the podcast. I'm like, if you're too sick to come to my show, you're not coming to the podcast and coughing on us. <laughs> we don't want the virus, bro. So he's like, He looks like a carrier. We, we had a discussion, <laughs> decided Xander's a carrier of the virus. And we told him... And to get in a bubble. Yeah. He's in a bubble now. He's in a bubble at the moment. <laughs> no, but you, you're dead right. So tramp means uh, homeless man, mm. uh, loose Skate. woman. Loose woman, yeah. And you know there was a store in Wollongong was called Tramps for Men. Wow. They sold suits. Uh. Suits. Like high class Wollongong suits. So like 70 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't get the reference. Tramps. Me neither. So I was like, that's confusing. Is that... Was it on Tramp Street or mm. is it for homeless people when they want a suit? I don't Do you reckon Tramp Stamps, when you get a tattoo on your lower back, is that about homeless people? Trampoline? Okay. Is that about women, not women, but like a, is that a reference to the, the tramps who want to jump or up and down it, on yeah. a cock? I think it's because back in the day, homeless people couldn't exercise so they created the trampoline. Trampoline. Okay, that makes more sense. To make them lean. Okay, and what did you say the tramp stamp was? Was it a homeless man? I'm not sure. Was, was it a homeless men's? Uh, were they getting it for a while? Oh. Ah, yeah. that is probably. Is that how it started? I think so. So some people maybe pretended to be homeless and they're like, you're not really homeless. You're just. Uh, show us your tramp stamp. Show us your tramp stamp. And it was like a secret club. Yeah. It was around World War One. They that were doing a lot of tattoo themed discrimination that's one of the big memes going around at the moment they're like our ancestors was survived world war one world war two you guys can survive a lock-in for a couple of weeks i mean that's fair <laughs> it is a fair point i will but i, I mean, will say this yes and no but i mean it's kind of annoying to buy stuff at the moment <laughs> fuck it is impossible i'm not sure i'm sure if it's the same every supermarket around the world. Oh, the camera's off for some reason. Oh, fuck. Should I keep talking or should we just stop it? Well, I'm not sure if it's the same as air for every supermarket around the world. But um, the my local supermarket, every single thing is gone. Like all the shit food that no one wants, like tin tomatoes and shit. What are you going to do with 100 cans of tin tomatoes, guys? Like... Pasta, I get that's gone. I like pasta. You know what I mean? The Italians probably aren't going to make too much more. They're fucking busy with their own shit right now. Um, rice, gone. Meat, all the meat's gone. So people are just fucking freezing it. Like, yeah, you know we're going to get more meat. You know the farmers, like, the meat comes from Australia. You Do Do you know that? Like, all, there is no, sh- like, they haven't stopped shipping in food. It's just the supermarkets can't handle you cunts taking everything. Yeah, because they're like, oh, we're just going to ship a normal amount because... Yeah, because uh, we don't expect people to go... It's crazy to see the mass panic and the mass uh, idiots. I was talking to someone at work and they were like, imagine when something actually, like something serious where we need to get stuff. Like people are turning into animals <laughs> over this. It's every man for themselves, man. It's trouble. It is. Uh, it's trouble. I think this sort of makes me think that we shouldn't be a democracy. What do we... Every man for himself. No, I think Self it should governed. be a dictatorship. Where you tie potato to your penis. <laughs> what? Dictator. Oh, tater. Mm. Oh, okay. I was thinking, what? <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let you be That's confused pathetic. there. Yeah, yeah, very good. That is... <laughs> banter. <on>. Banter. <laughs> <laughs> your brain's got coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I was no, sneezing. but I was like... If the majority of humans, like when there's some like, it's okay, it's a bad virus, guys. It is, uh, it's not ideal, but they just fucking freak out, steal all the toilet paper, they're buying, this is what I want. How can we trust that they're going to, the majority of people will vote for the right person? 
I think the right person needs to take control of this government by fucking force. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I just think, I just think we should have. This I just advocate a coup. <laughs> I think so, but really strangely, <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested. I think yeah, that's illegal, bro. <laughs> hey guys, I was just on this podcast. I don't advocate what this guy. You says. don't advocate a coup. A coup kachu. But I, I don't think that. Uh, I think there's. Way better people that could rule countries. I think the smartest people. And they're not going to get voted in because the majority of uh, voters are idiots. I think experts in their field should be for each government department because they just chuck any minister on anything. So the expert in it's the like field of high fives could they get a role? No. Why not? That's a very valuable. Can't high five anymore. Not anymore. Mm. But they'll know how to Cancelled. do it safely. Cancel. Who'd have thought high fives would get cancelled? I was, I used to be very good at high fives. Prove it. You wouldn't. You, you're scared. Yo, okay, bro. We're not so. We're not. We we haven't got a good distance between us. <laughs> what? We haven't got a the appropriate distance between us. You're too close. Is what you I'm just talking. fucking sneezed on me, bro? Don't bring this shit up now. Well, if you were a meter and a half away, you wouldn't have got infected with my AIDS. Moving on. So Matt's chats, that's what we started talking about. And uh, we got very distracted. My brother's got a lot of good theories. If uh, mm. all our new listeners, you're about to learn about uh, the genius that is my brother, Matthew. Um, hello to all our returning listeners. Oh, tell oh them God. the big news. Tell them the big news. Tell them the big news, Tom. Um. Tom Hanks has coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Did we not cover that last time? Probably not. Did we not? I don't know. I like, okay, it's bad, but I find that I found that one very funny. Why? Because it's funny. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it is, like, there is, is something it? funny about the fact that it normally celebrities don't get the shit that everyone no, else is getting. Who was one I saw that got it? Oh, Idris Elba's got it. That's what's funny. It's like he's like I've got. Uh, if he's was dying, I wasn't wouldn't find it funny. But like Tom Hanks has had AIDS before. That was a movie. No, bro. he's had it. He's he's a method actor. True. He used to be a. I think cowboy. he'll be all right with a coronavirus. He used to be a cowboy toy. A what? A cowboy toy. What movie was that? Uh, it's called Toy Story. <laughs> that one. Okay. Have you heard of it? <laughs> Who says the cowboy toy? You'd you say, say a toy cowboy. A like cowboy you wouldn't say toy. cowboy toy. That is the worst. That is the dumbest way to fucking phrase that. Say it like that. I would. <laughs> <laughs> what other cowboy toy? It's the cowboy toy. Oh, well, your brain is fried today, brother. Working from home will do that. Yeah, it's lonely. Um. Anyway, <laughs> the other big news. Do you remember the other big news? No. Oh well, fuck. I we've got, we've got some really bad news. I think you've got worse news. Tom's show had to get cancelled. Back to the bearer. Mm. One more week, and you would have been fine. Yeah. Would have been his first uh, solo show ever. So. I was ready to go. Pour one out for Tommy Armstrong. I think it's more the Frenchie Super Fund. That oh, is in bro. Yeah, so here's Frenchie the other had thing, like 40 guys. shows cancelled. I have had a lot of care shows cancelled. So uh, the Melbourne International Comedy Festival got cancelled. My show was a part of that. It's yes, going to be sir. 23 nights of our ruthless jokes. Uh, and the biggest thing is that uh, it's probably... I earn half my yearly income in that one month. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so I'm You're so fucked. fucking broke. <laughs> and I haven't trouble. done a show in so long. I was just going to wait it out till Oof. those shows. Um, my overseas shows are looking like they're going to be cancelled too. Yeah, it's obviously. not looking good for the future. Um, I've got the next ones will be New Zealand, June, late June. So hopefully they can go ahead. But mm. who the fuck knows? We'll give it a month or two. See if someone creates a super cure. So... What street corner can the guys see you washing windows on now? Um, I'll be moving around. <laughs> I'll be moving uh, around. You legit look like a window washer right now. <laughs> you even got your fucking squeegee detergent bottle, and you got. I a hundred percent have seen them wear your exact outfit. <laughs> yeah, there's there's <laughs> sleeveless hoodie. Sleeveless hoodie. Yeah, you actually are dead right. I'm not even. <laughs> I'm Bro, that would be the smoothest one. transition for you. <laughs> no, I, you actually look like <laughs> someone who would come up and just hold up the squeegee and you shake your head out and they do it anyway. And you're like, fuck. 
<laughs> you never take no for an answer. Can we can we do that as a mockumentary? I'll never take. That'd no be for funny. An you after your ca- shows get cancelled and you're just washing wind- windows, and we'll put a mic on you and just film you at a intersection for a bit. Yeah, I'll do it. That'd be pretty funny. I'll do it. I reckon I'll make some money. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, fuck That's it. That's good I've got content. Literally nothing <laughs> else to do. <laughs> like you might actually need the money. Literally, and then nothing. we'll just yeah, oh, it's just a video. <laughs> Frenchie takes the five dollars home in coins. <laughs> <laughs> I used to pick up coins when I was working at uh, the glass house, the nightclub in Wollongong. I never went lower than 10 cent piece, so I've got standards. Did you get much? Yeah, I used to get a lot. I'd, I'd average about 50 bucks a night. Wow. Yeah, For coins. Lot. Well, if it was a busy Saturday or Friday, because uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of twos get dropped, a lot. Wow. And then you just, you, I'd get about 20, 30 bucks in twos and gold. Mm. And then I just had to get one note to make a hit the 50. Fuck yeah. I got 150 one night is um, in a cigarette packet, which was sick. Um, there was one, uh, I don't know if I told you this, it was like, oh fuck. So I, th- I swear I've told this on the podcast before. The You know the bikey gang, the rebels? Mm. So they were at the end of the bar uh, one night and there was a 50 bucks near one of their feet. And... Um, it looked like it may have been his. It may not have been. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, yeah. But I didn't uh, want to just go in and get it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm still going to get that money. I'm going <laughs> to get fucking paid. <laughs> so I got a pooper scooper. One of those ones you sweep up. Uh, yeah. Shit in. And so I just swept it in there, ran to the bathroom, put in my shoe, went home. Nice. I didn't go straight home. I, I worked the shift. That would have been <laughs> too suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> 50 bucks. I'm retiring. How much were you getting paid? I think uh, if you guys have any ideas what I can do for money, please leave them in the comments below on YouTube or whatever. whenever we do a post. I would definitely like to let, uh, know. And if you're not a member of our Patreon, now's the time. Tom and Frenchy talk. No, what is it? Patreon.com slash Tom and Frenchy. And that brings us to the big news, which I tried to get to oh, fucking that's 10 minutes ago. About. Well, just say it. Why do no, you have well, to lead in like a weird for them. So I was in, I'm in week one of whatever quarantine we all are. And I was getting depressed. I was like, yo, I'm actually fucking need something to do. So I was like, you know what? What can we do, Thomas, to, to cheer everyone up? We can do two podcasts a week. Yeah, buddy. We can do two podcasts a week for the next starting, month. Starting next week. Starting next week. Monday and Thursday. Thursdays may get moved around if we do something cool on the weekend. I want to go. I really want to go to a healing service, a big one in Hillsong. You're and I want it to be a Hillsong, special bro. coronavirus healing. We can't Everyone go who's got it, and I want them to cough on the priest to oh see if God. they can heal it. Do you think they're going to be having big services in this climate? I you think if thinking. anyone can protect them, it's God. Uh, it's not working well. Oh, well, have you prayed? Have you tried praying? I have pray. you tried thoughts? Thoughts. And prayers? Mm. Or do you just try one or the other? Because they got to go together. Not at the same time. Thoughts and prayers. Okay. That's, they got to go that's and cool. prayers. Thoughts or prayers is not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm going to be broke as shit. So, hopefully, I can. Uh, it'll, it'll die down before my New Zealand. And then I'm going to reschedule a bigger tour. I'm just going to add in yeah. a lot more shows. So, all the venues I, I wasn't going to hit, uh, like Wollongong, Gold Coast. I'm going to add in shows there and maybe some other regional ones. So, she'll be all right. That's, was, uh, that's what you always got to put in perspective, Tom. Like, this is affecting us this way. Mm. How's it affecting everyone else? Everyone's getting fucking smacked well that's why i want to shout out tom hanks i hope you're doing all right man (laughs) how would okay tom i want to do a little role play okay you're tom hanks obviously but you're acting as one of his characters forrest gump and you've Mm. just got the news that uh you've got coronavirus go Life is like a box of tissues. You put them together on toilet paper. Um, sorry, uh, you're going a bit off topic here, Forrest. Uh, I'm just trying to tell you you have coronavirus. It's not too deadly for someone your age, but please try to stay in quarantine. Do you know what, you know what that means? I love you, Jenny. No, d- oh, fuck. Um, uh, I'm not Jenny. Ping pong? Yes, I would like to play some ping Let's pong. Let's play ping that pong. Is. You want to play some... I don't know I'm why I'm so southern all of a sudden, <laughs> but I want to play some ping pong and get some pussy. Um, ping pong and pussy. Okay, cool. Uh, the other thing is I've got a bowl of bat soup. Would you like to try Oh, that? hell yeah. 
<laughs> Bat soup gives you wings. <laughs> That's their saying. <laughs> that is their saying. That is their saying. Bat soup gives you wings. Delicious. <laughs> um, okay. Let's. Uh, what's your favorite of Tom Hanks' roles? Hmm, I did like Castaway. It's a classic. I liked. Um, I feel like that would be easy to act. What? What do you mean? Because <coughs> a lot of his roles, he does quite good acting. I don't think it'd be hard to act like you've been on an island by yourself for a couple of months. Just be on an island by yourself for a couple. I of think months. you'd find the hardest bit acting normal before he was on the island. <laughs> That's so true, but that is it's so true. true. I could go like one month in a like manic shit, uh, but the first part would be yeah, hard. Yeah, like he works as a company. He's a Hello professional. Hello, wife. I hope to be home soon. I work at FedEx. I work at FedEx. I miss you when I go on journeys. Yep. Not buying it. Oh, no, I can do it better. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, Tom here from FedEx. Uh, I'm about to go on a trip on a boat or plane. What was it a boat or a plane? Plane. I'm about to go on a trip on a plane. Hope it doesn't crash. You. Fuck, that's a sick looking volleyball. What's his name? Wilson. Fucking Wilson. What a sick cunt. Yeah. That was me day one. So wow. <laughs> that should have been, you're right, that should have been day 30. No, nah, you're selling it. <laughs> I don't hate it. Castaway 2. I can make that. Castaway again with a vengeance. Coronavirus. Uh. Yeah, I think Tom, is Tom Hanks making something like that? What do you mean? I feel like all the celebrities are just getting out on TikTok now. Maybe. There's a lot of going on with it anyway. Ashley Tisdale's really? on it. Yo. Ashley Tisdale. Tell you who's a good follow. That other high school musical chick. Uh, Vanessa Hutchins. Vanessa Hutchins. She's lost a fucking plot. I've got her on Instagram. And yeah, she's on kooky Instagram. She's as fuck on there. So in, I saw her Instagrams for the last three days, guys, and she's just been smashing the red wines and dancing. Oh, really? And she did this uh, rant about coronavirus, about how who gives a fuck, it doesn't affect me. Like, And someone's, she did it on live. Oh, shit. She did it on live and and uh, someone uh, screen recorded it and um, posted on Twitter. They're like, maybe you should delete this. It's like, fuck, she did it on live. <laughs> You're the one who posted it. True. Do you reckon you could do a coronavirus, corona acrostic poem for the people? I would love to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So just words that relate to how yep. you feel about okay. corona. See. Catch feelings, mm-hmm. not viruses. Isn't that just one word? <laughs> or is it a whole sentence? No, you can do a sentence. Okay. okay. You don't, have you ever done acrostic poem? I'm pretty sure it's one word. No, it's not. Look it up. Look it up. I'm very knowledgeable about acrostic poems. I used to be a teacher, bro. I don't think you know. Yeah, we saw one of your students at your new material night and she said yeah. you were shit. So. She said I was a shit teacher. Yeah. Oh, look, it's got more than one word. Oh, the second, oh, one. second one. Oh, it. it's dealer's choice, Tom. Trust me. What the fuck? You sort of acrostic poem nerd are you? Uh, it's one word. Grow up. I'm a teacher. Nah, so the la- the, the girl last night, she uh, I, I used to teach her at uh, this selective school in Wollongong called Smith's Hill. It's a very, like any selective school's different vibe from the, the public schools because they want to learn. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All yeah, of them yeah. smart. Even if they don't want to learn, they're still fucking smart. Yeah. And so I had her for year 11 biology and um, pretty tricky. Because that's like goes towards their fucking end of year exams or whatever. Right. So I just rolled in like I'll just wing it. But there's a lot to biology. I don't know if you know. I don't know much. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny. I'll get uh, probably every second show I'll get an ex-student coming in. There was one at the first trial show too. And they're like, that's the one who touched me. They always scream that out. It's really weird. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing at first. <laughs> um, we should do a quick recap and then I'll get back to the acrostic poem <laughs> of the trial shows. Uh, sure. let's, should we go from last night's or the first week's first? Did we talk about the first week's? Already? No, we, uh, we haven't done a podcast since then. Mm, true. Mm. The first You go, you go The first show, a lot of podcast listeners So thanks to those guys I reckon say 80% Yeah, I'd say say 78, but that's okay 78, (laughs) I round up Nah, shout out all the French ticklers Tom's children getting around Mm. it Oh, he's eating a banana, Jesus Christ Saved it for the podcast What, uh, but yeah Oh, that's moist 
just enjoy. So that. it was a lot of podcast yeah. listeners. A really nice turnout. Um, all the jokes were awkwardly good and bad at the same time. I'm not going to talk, so you can really hear him eat the banana. Oh, he's deep throating it. Oh, he's done that before. I could tell. Um. Yeah. So, if you have never been to one of my trial shows before, I mentioned it before. It's I first week I'd never done any of those jokes live, and um. Some I was quite pleased with how they went, and others I'm like, yeah, I'm cutting that, I'm cutting that, I'm cutting that. Tom did his set, did very well, but he absolutely slayed the second week. I thought that was a better performance. What do you mm. think? Yeah, it was a bit more chill. I was a bit more relaxed. Yeah. Mm. No, it was a really, really nice show. Um, there was a good phone call last night. I love oh. it when a phone goes off. Are you going to edit there. that for a video? Yeah, I'll chop that up tonight, maybe. I reckon end it on Wombat. All right. Yeah, you don't right. want to drag it out after no, that. No, no, that, was, right. that was the punch. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was, a, it was an American, no anyone, American in the in the crowd, and their phone goes off, and they're like, "I'm like, who is it?" She's like, "It's my daughter." I was like, "Can I talk to?" Her? I was like, "She won't understand you. You're very Australian." <laughs> True. <laughs> like, I'll give it a go. So I had a chat to her. Now I talked to her them after the show. They're like. Yeah, we didn't know who you were. We just staying up the road. We come to the pub. Oh, we just really? walked in a few doors, and there's your show. And we didn't pay you nothing, huh? Everyone, you were saying fifteen dollars, and we didn't pay fifteen dollars. How cool is that? I'm like, <laughs> that's not fucking cool. Pay him, pay him. At pay least, him. at least they fucking? added to the show. We're doing door sales. You fucking cheap fucks. <laughs> that's the door person. Nah, they were they were really nice, but they were very American. They're from Tennessee. Oh, and that's what I was like. I don't think they'd ever met anyone like me before. They must have been confused. Walking they must have been. There's a lot of in jokes, especially to roll in to your first comedy show in Australia. Probably first time they've been in Australia, and then it's a trial show, so it's not even like tight Aussie comedy. <laughs> it's loose, loose, loose Aussie comedy. <laughs> yeah, Frenchie looked like a Scandinavian DJ. He was just standing there with his laptop folded out. <laughs> yeah, bit <bit-o. laughs> You actually did look like a DJ. Okay, play the beat. <laughs> Doof, doof, doof. Yeah, Hans, I like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've lost it. Oh, that was a good answer. Yeah, thank you. Um, can we get back to the... Oh, no, we're still yeah, talking. Hans, I like. Um, anything else notable from the two trial shows, Tom? Tom? My last two shows for the year? Probably. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I guess it was good that you got it out of the way. Now you've got a bit of time to work on it, so it'll be even better when you return. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. Perfect. That's it. There we go. I want to hear the across the Okay, part. what was I saying? Catch uh, C. Catch feelings, not uh, diseases. Mm-hmm. O. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, damn. I ate bat soup again. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. <laughs> uh, really good at social distancing because I don't have friends. Nice. That's too real. O again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Outstanding effort by Scott Morrison allowing the footy to go ahead. Nice. He also Very let topical. his um Hill song go ahead of as course well. He, did you just hear that? Did I want you all to know how fucking scum our uh, prime minister is? I don't. I don't know. Like I don't get on him for not doing the regulations initially because no one really knows. We're just they're doing the best they can. Okay, we can use Italy and America as a guide though. So they should be doing more. I they should do, be, do, be bit, doing more. Bit slow. Bit it's slow. just, but like. Last week, maybe Thursday, is like, okay, no gatherings over 500 people from Monday. Like, why not fucking now if you know you're going to do it? Yeah. And it's because he wanted his Cronulla Sharks to play and Hillsong had a massive gathering of... Uh, juggalos. Juggalos, they uh, had. <laughs> <laughs> gathering of the... Imagine if they had Juggalos. Is that the metal band? Yeah, the guys who paint themselves like yeah, clowns. <laughs> so it was the Hillsong God Juggalo Convention <laughs> and they were just going to share secrets. Can we go to Hillsong <laughs> as, as Juggalos? juggalos? <laughs> I would. That'd be pretty funny. I'll do it. <sighs> um, and so, yeah, the fact that he's like, and then he's like, all the crowds can go to the footy this week, but we're going to stop like in a couple of days. Like, yo, if you know you're going to stop in a couple of days, you might as well stop now, bro. Yeah. You know Sus. what I mean? But like, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what's going on, guys? Essentially, if you if you don't, I'm sure a lot of people are following it. They're just trying to make sure we're not all getting clogging up the hospital once. Then they'll allow us to go out of our homes probably. Who knows though? Yeah. 
Just trying to stop that curve, you know? Stop that curve, baby. Yeah, straighten out that curve, Straighten yo. that motherfucking curve. You don't want no crooked one. You don't. It's like a penis. Mm, you want to straighten it out. You want to... Actually, uh, maybe girls like crooked ones because maybe it, like, reaches around a few more corners. Mm, like a periscope. Mm. Mm. That's actually See not... See over walls. Uh, we're actually going to ring... We're going to cold call some girls and ask them this right now. Tom? <laughs> No. <laughs> um, what was I up to? Uh, 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 oh, the second O. R O. Didn't I say outstanding effort yep. by our Prime Minister? Coron N. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> what is the word starting with N? <laughs> <laughs> it's all I can think of now. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Nickelback. <laughs> oh my god. Nickelback is the only other thing worse than this virus. Oh wow, true. <laughs> and then finally A, this road, okay. Aren't you glad you listen to the Tom and Frenchie podcast? Because we'll be Oh, I thought we'll be here all week. No, because I was getting ready for Matt's chats, but it's yeah, fucking yeah. getting off topic and we love it. Here off we go. Off topic. Hey, I'm the OG Frenchie, and this is Matt's Chats. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that that is, good. is our good, very professional introduction. Welcome to Matt's nice. Chats. Okay, conspiracy theory. I'm on it. And what this is, is a common one. It, uh, I think he had it his own idea, but a lot of people have this similar idea. Mm. This is not just a virus. It's a zombie apocalypse. Oh, shit. And everyone with it will turn into zombies uh, in six months. Okay. The ones who don't die. Thoughts? That'd be fucking crazy. That would make sense because that's how all zombies become zombies in movies. It's a virus. Have you seen Zombieland? Virus. Mm. Yeah. Normally it's faster acting than six months. Won't they be a bit decayed? Uh, but we got better immune systems than the movies. Do we? Yeah. I don't know why. Like, no one knows. Fuck, imagine Tom Hanks zombie. I think they just speed it up for the movies because it's going to like, oh, we can't wait it out for six months. If Tom Hanks zombie was coming at you... That'd be sick. Would you kill him or take a selfie? I'll definitely kill him. Kill him? He's what one is of the he? actors wait, of our is generation. is he a zombie or not? No, he's a zombie. Oh, selfie. But he's a talent. Selfie. Yeah, yeah. If he wasn't a zombie. You'd kill him if he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Everyone loves Tom Hanks. Yeah, I reckon he's done some dark shit we don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think yet. so too. Yeah. He's I just so too, too good, you know? Too clean cut. Oh, I've got a good idea for who's going to be a celebrity pedo. Actually, I'll tell you after the podcast because I don't want to get on air yet. I no, want to see you your thoughts on you it can't now. Do I can't do that to the I people. That. They're going to hate that. It's not Tom Hanks, by the way. Well, that would have been a bit obvious. Mm. Who is it? I'll tell you after. Give me a rhyme. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bomb Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity. <laughs> That's a stretch. Pedophile. Not not far off. But Okay, celebrity. he's got a prediction. Two weeks till full lockdown and chaos. I believe full lockdown will happen, so I think he's not too far off on that. Mm. Um, hope you can work from home, guys. No, nah, we're all gonna get poor together. Don't worry. Yeah, fuck. <clears throat> Please surprise Tom with a detective dick song request. <sighs> <laughs> I can't even remember how it went. <laughs> Me neither. We don't have to do that. I blank. I blank my memory after every episode. Okay, ask Tom for a prediction of what people practicing social isolation will do. That's a good one. What are people going to do? So everyone's at home. Well, everyone's locked in. Everyone's. I at reckon. Home. I reckon it's a good time to invest in Netflix shares. Don't you reckon? Yeah, but for how long? Shares might be pretty bad in general. And then like it's but three months. That's all that goes e- down everyone's again. gonna do, bro. Netflix. Mm. I think a lot of what's well, it's so hard because I haven't been a regular person for a while. Like with a job and shit. Yeah, so what do you do? Because like it's not really doesn't really change my life at all. There's all the changes that I can't go to Melbourne and have the f- best <laughs> month of my life. So now I'm just back to the mundane depressing life that I have. Um, I do a lot of writing and a lot of editing, a lot of filming, so I can still do that. But I think you do a lot of crying as well. Yeah, I think a lot of crying will get done. <laughs> That's dark. Um, puzzles? You like a puzzle? I've done a puzzle. Mm. You like puzzles? Puzzles are kind of like they're good for a rainy day. Mm. You know what I mean? Or a coronavirusy oh, season. Yeah, I don't think you could do a puzzle. Fill your days with puzzles. I think you'd kill someone. Pieces. 
I think in the end you'd have to uh, the Uber Eats delivery driver would go, you'd kill him and chop him up and try to do him like a puzzle, put him back together. Oh no, because I think that would fuck your brain doing eighteen days of straight puzzles. I think you'd be wanking a lot. Yeah, definitely, mm. but more than usual. I tell you what's the the is bad that thing? the only thing that stops you wanking is that you're at work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because I go in a cycle. If I wank, then I want to nap. So do you reckon girls will be uh, flicking the beans? Just jamming it a lot, yeah. I don't know. Some girls. Because I feel like they don't do it as much. Oh, definitely not <coughs> as much. And I would be... We still need to get a girl on this podcast, Tom. This is getting ridiculous now. Why is it on me? Because you're the one who's... You're the voice trying to understand it. Make a noise and make, make it clear. clear. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Jesus Christ. Um, so, girls, let us know how many times you do flick the bean a day in the form of video. Send it to the Tom and Friends. A French. day? <laughs> Maybe a week. I don't know. A day. Sounds like I've got no. I've actually got no reference of how much it would be. If it would be once a week, it would be on average. We're going to have to Google this. Uh, but is this in coronavirus or just in general? No, when, when we get a general one, we'll be able to figure it out. So we actually have no idea. If we had to go say the average time a male does it, I'd say twice a day. That's at least once a day. Average time. Twice is twice average, is unemployed Frenchy chat. Number of masturbation <laughs> males do a day. Is that is that I how you like, Google that? Yeah, that was a long. Yeah. How how do. It, how do we... Uh, how many times? How often? Yeah. Do men masturbate? masturbate. Yeah, that's much better. A day. You're on. You probably didn't, I'm not in day. private hit browsing now. I'm going to get some weird fucking ads again. <laughs> 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 Almost half of sexually active men do it more than once a week. What? Obviously. Well, compared with a quarter of women. A quarter of women. One in four men masturbate every day. What is going on? One what do they do? I guess when you're in a relationship, it's a bit harder. You're at home all day. But like, what about when you're shitting? True. <laughs> <laughs> That's called a shank. A shit and a wank. But is that a... I guess, oh, you think they're having sex instead of masturbating. Mm. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Irish Times sex survey. It's saying one in four male... Said they do it every day compared to 5% of females do it every day. There you go. Yeah, that's what it was about. 5%. What we thought. 5%. Masturbate every day. But it hasn't said whether it's sex or not. Mm. No, they, what? What? No, masturbate isn't sex. It's masturbate. That's what I'm saying. It's not saying they're not doing it because the Italians will be going for it. They're very passionate people. Mm. I once say I got these Italian girls at a hostel to call me the Black Stallion. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Why black? I have no idea. Um, I was traveling with some Aussie mates. We were in a hostel in Valencia for a couple of days. Like the oranges. Like uh, the filter. Like the Instagram filter. Yeah, why not? Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, and um, we, we've been traveling a bit too long, so we all had weird nicknames for each other. The Black Stallion. And so they started calling me the Black Stallion. I think it was an ironic name, obviously. They see a dick and it was like really small and white, and they're like the black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. Actually, I never thought about why why I was the black stallion. They was like, there's the Italian stallion, which would make I have no more idea. Sense. It makes no sense, but it's like it's one of those <laughs> uh, nicknames that when you're drinking a lot with a bunch of bunch of dudes, you just get these random nicknames that like make sense at the time because you cooked, and then you're like, yeah, you try to explain why he's called Esky Bin. Largo, Charlo, or whatever the fuck. Mm. You know what I mean? Or Hat Boy. He's like, oh, Hat Boy, he fucking wore a hat to, <laughs> to breakfast once. True. And, and the chick said, nice hat. And he's like, yeah. So we call him Hat Boy now. You know what That's I mean? Good. It could just be something yeah, that yeah, inane yeah. or could be... Um, um, it was a really cool crew I was traveling with. There was this guy who just used to steal heaps of shit. Okay. It was really funny. Have you ever been uh, hanging out with a friend who's a klepto? Is that a stealer? Yeah, kleptomaniac. I think they just steal things. Mm. I, I used to steal a little bit when I was drunk. Like it would be in the back of my brain, but it'd be just dumb shit. Yeah. yeah. And like house parties? Not house parties. Just like I'd steal a knife and fork from a restaurant. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, it made I like no that. sense. I like that. My mate, um, 
one time he got a oh he almost got busted this one time in Spain. He just because he used to just do the because we we're quite poor when we we're traveling. We we're nineteen. He would uh, he would walk around the supermarket, do the classic one where he, you would eat things. <laughs> you know that one, yeah. But most people do like an apple or some nuts. He would open up a packet of biscuits. Wow, get like chicken, just That's eat that, and just leave it on the shelf. Oh my that sort god! Of stuff. One time I'm doing it with him. He starts filling his bag like he doesn't give a fuck. He's, and he's <laughs> filling his bag. He's saying, I'm, I'm going to buy something. So I, I line up. He just lines up me with his bag. As we're lining up, security guard, this big, big dude comes and just waits at the end of the checkout. As cool as you like. He doesn't even break stride. He just takes off his bag, starts putting things on the thing. Like he was going to do it anyway. Yeah, right. Like the security guard come out too early. And security guard just staring at him, giving him evils. And he's like, oh, hola. <laughs> Fucking why. One time on a pirate ship. Oh, okay. This is, this is a random story. <laughs> this was a dream, Frenchie. <laughs> no. This, <laughs> this is the start of a dream. <laughs> so this was from Valencia. Fuck, I'm getting uh, sidetracked. I'll tell you this Doesn't story. Matter. Then I'll get back into the blood. So one time we're in Valencia. We're at the hostel. I'm with uh, my four mates uh, and um, Corey, John, and then two others. I forgot their names. Um, and uh, we met this Aussie couple. They're like 35, 40. And they're like, yo, do you guys uh, want to come sailing with us? We got a like a pirate ship type <laughs> thing, and we need crew to help uh, to help sail it. We're gonna go through the islands, Ibiza, Mallorca, Menorca, and around there. And we're like, yeah, right. We're like nineteen. That sounds like, dangerous. That sounds sick. No, it sounds fucking sick. And the the Aussie dude was just this wild card, like. Definition of a wild card. His name was Doug, and he just fucking. <laughs> that is crazy. not a wild card name. But he was. He was crazy. Like he used to just climb up the mast, hang upside down, yeah, and his. Right. Uh, Did he have dreadlocks? That sounds like a guy. With he had the. He had his uh, son, a long uh, blonde, mm. sun bleached hair, long okay. sun bleached hair, ruler, uh, rule tan dude. And his and his woman was just a punish, like rule, like. Uh, like, don't do that, don't do that. And he's just like crazy. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, so we're on his ship doing stuff. One time uh, I'm sleeping. Corey, that's the guy who used to steal shit. Yep. He jumps off the boat when moored at near some town, swims over, steals a bunch of shit, comes back in, and we see him swimming back in. We're like, what the fuck are you doing? He's got like a tourist uh, sword, wooden sword between his mouth. What the fuck? It'll be he's funny to steal and then climb up on deck with a fucking pirate sword. I think you were actually hanging out with pirates, Frenchie. <laughs> bro, it was crazy. Bro, you were you were a pirate for a little bit. I was, man. Stealing from people. It was like a full wooden ship and he'd done it up. It was like his dream. And was, you'd swim into town, rape some people. <laughs> swim like a pirate. Bro, I was still like, like, I was just chilling. I was like, this is normal. This is what happens when you're traveling. <laughs> That's wild, bro. You know, didn't you do stuff when you're traveling like, oh, usually you wouldn't do this, but yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. We once robbed a Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Not even joking. <laughs> what a gun for <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we killed heaps of them. <laughs> <laughs> what guns did you use? <laughs> BB guns. That's funny. Did you do any other stuff? Surely you went on some wild adventures. No, we know? actually oh, did fuck. steal from a Kentucky. Oh, okay, Not cool. Joke. We what? didn't use guns. We were at like, we were in Italy as well and we were staying at like a campsite that had like tents pre-set up, like kind of like gazebo-y, mm. like normal tents with beds in them and shit. Mm. And um, we went to like the bar that was in the campsite and mm. when we were coming back drunk, there was like this big cooking tent that belonged to either a Kentucky or a bus about and you could just unzip it and go in. Sick. And there was like giant jars of Nutella, like bottles of booze and all this food oh, and shit. And we just, we were heaps pissed, like blackout drunk. And we just took it all. And then we woke up and we were like, oh fuck. Like our bags were just full of stolen Kentucky stuff. That's so and then we just funny. left. That's so And then funny. we were eating like out of like a liter thing of Nutella. Eating like kings. kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was like... I get annoyed when someone steals from me. Of course. But it is fun if you steal from a faceless company like Kentucky. Yeah, exactly. You're not stealing from people. Because we were independent travelers. There you go. And we were like, fuck the system. There you go. Fuck the system. I'm a pirate now, bitch. There's gotta be you gotta have some honor when you steal. You just can't steal from anyone. You can't steal from people. You've got to steal from companies. Mm. From the government. Mm. And start a coup. 
Okay. Let's fucking steal from the government. Let's burn the this motherfucker man down. man will be king. Let's burn this motherfucker down. Frenchy for president. <laughs> Not me. No, okay. I, don't want, I don't want that. Well. I don't want that hype. I could not handle that power. I would go crazy. You, you know would. I would. I do know that. What I was going to say. So, there was this uh, group of uh, Italian girls, four four Italian girls, and oh, two, of them, more. two of them were the best looking girls I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Like, so, I'm trying to sneak into that group. I used to have this move I'd do. Uh, it wasn't actually to tune girls. It was both. It was also to get food. Okay. You'd hang in the kitchen, just make jokes, make conversation, try to speak some Italian to them. While they're cooking at the hostel kitchen, eventually they'd be like, oh, you want some? We made too much. Like, oh, you know what? Kids are starving in Africa. I, I better, you know what I mean? I bet I'm not going to let food go to waste. Mm. Not the sort of guy I am. And so I was doing that with them a fair bit. <laughs> and um, my mates would just keep calling, ah, oh, the black stallion's at it again. Like, why are you the black stallion? I was like, ah, it's a long story. <laughs> 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 anyway, I didn't, I didn't get to hook up any of them because... Uh, as I said, they're very good looking. <laughs> 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 but uh, but but we but we were quite fr- we were quite friendly with them. We we're hanging out a fair bit, and then they left before they could say goodbye because I was off doing something. And they left a massive, massive uh, saucepan, oh. <laughs> saucepan of pasta. You ever had Italians cook your pasta? And they wrote on a hand, uh, paper towel. To the black stallion, love the Italians. Oh, I swear, nice. I'm like I am the fucking black stallion. <laughs> That's nice. I still got the photo, so I'll try to post that photo for the <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah, I'll try to f- post that photo somewhere. Here's a story for you Ooh, along the same theme. Story time. First night in London, um, when I was doing my gap year, I um, we went out to I think it was Walkabout. They're all over. Oh, Italy. bro, Walkabout. Can Loose you, as. Can you describe Walkabouts for those who don't know? Walkabouts like a chain bar, a uh, nightclub that's Australian themed. It's it's built as Australian themed, but it's like Australian themed from the people who brought you Fosters. It's like, like it's like, <laughs> like stereotype. Bar- yeah. It's like Bali on Bundy. It's like yeah, 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 <laughs> like absolutely. <laughs> And it's just, it's, they go off over there. They're fun. Uh, this was 10 years ago, mind you. <laughs> yeah. So they might be shit now. But um, there was these two hot chicks on the dance floor. Mm. And this guy who was like real f- creepy, it was probably probably you, um, was trying to dance with one of them. And you could, tell, me. you could tell she didn't want to dance with him. Okay. So like I danced in between them and cut him off. Oh, and nice. then I played it cool like, oh, don't worry. And then I didn't like try and make a move or anything. And she was Italian. And so I then I walked off and then later she came and talked to me and bought me shots. And she was like with her Italian friend. And then they were like, come back to our place. Two of them. Wow. And I thought like, I was like, oh, two. Wow. Two. Wow. And then we're on this. This is my first night in London. You're like, why, like wouldn't I get a, why wouldn't I get a threesome with two Italians <laughs> yeah. on my first night in London? <laughs> and then I'm like to my mates, I'm like, I'm going with these guys. Like, I have no idea where my bearings at all yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we catch a bus like all the way to the other side of London. And then she's like telling me, she's like, yeah, like the other day someone got stabbed here. And I'm like walking with two like fucking wearing hardly anything at like three looking in the ve- morning. Looking very gringo-y. Someone yeah. got stabbed there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I did end up hooking up with her. But then in the morning, I had no idea where I was. And I'd only been there a night. And I had to figure out how to get back to the hostel. It was a bit of a nightmare. Don't skip over the best part, Tom. Yeah, you got late. You. Oh, we're not meant to high five. I wanted to show you how good I was at high fives. <laughs> Saved it for the perfect time. You got laid by a hot Italian on first your first night. night. Yeah, it was pretty That's good. That's the dream. Yeah. And then it's yeah. all downhill from Absolutely. there after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you try to put on with the friend too? I thought I was in for it, but no, it wasn't. That's that drunk and arrogance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course I'll get a threesome They're with They're both coming Italian. with me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't that happen? <laughs> Why would that not happen? <laughs> That's great. So what was the, the, the lovemaking like? Um, I remember her thinking I was quite pale. Um, yeah. Because it was winter in Australia. She's Italian. They're very pale people. Italians? No, they're not. They're not tanned. Yes, they are. Olive skin Italians. Are you serious? Oh, they're southern Italians. No, northern Italians are quite... Are they? Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. Have you not seen the Jersey Shore? They're all very tan. That's not a... T- <laughs> they like gym, they like tan, they like laundry. GTL, baby. No, well, I just thought, because they don't get as much sun as Australia. Like, surely West They're Coast all pretty olive skin in Italy. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. For some reason, I thought the Northerners had whiter skin. I don't know. Maybe you're right. So anyway, she's calling you pale. Mm. Anything else? Um, The condom broke. Fuck off. Mm. So you might have an Italian, Italian kid. baby. It's a me. A, Tom, this is the black stallion, your new <laughs> baby. <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> what? My baby would be black. That would be. <laughs> um. So the condom broke. Did you freak out? I was pretty drunk. I was probably like, uh. So you just didn't use one? No, I think I put another one on. I yeah, just remember smart. it broke. Smart. Mm. Especially when you're traveling, guys, you always want to top up. That is a... Uh, it's risky, especially with random Italians who bring Most you home. Most people who are traveling have some sort of diseases. True. Gypsies. That's just a blatant lie, but there you go. Mm. That's great. So she goes, you're very pale. I go, oh, f- yeah. I am very pale. I go, yes. Yes. I have an accent too. Mm. <sighs> That's a great memories. Great memories. Mm, do you have, uh, do you have a lot of traveling stories? Yes. Did you how many trips have you done? Quite a few. I mean, something mm. about uh, being Australian. We just got to get out and go, don't we? Even on that trip, I did. Uh, we did fifteen countries in one trip. It was oh, wild. Fuck. Yeah, it was a lot. Fucking hell. Yeah. That's a lot of little toms running around. Yeah, that's right. A lot I of big head boys. I love that move though. This little knight in shining armor. He's yeah. trying to dance with her. I play cool like, no, nah, don't worry about it. Cock block him mm. and you save her. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to know, guys, that Tom is very uh, <laughs> good. <laughs> what do you mean? When he's single, he's very uh, desirable for the ladies. You're very good. At, you're not good at picking up. Like, you're just like. Uh, you just don't cock block yourself like the rest of your friends do. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I you don't do the crab as often as you. You look very well good by comparison. Frenchie does a lot of crab moves <laughs> on the dance floor. <laughs> he gets to a certain level and he crabs out. <laughs> if you ever see Frenchie on a dance move, he'll be doing crab moves. I really do. I used to do shit like that. It's so fun. And then you're like, no, I actually want to get doesn't laid. Work, I actually yeah. want to get laid. <laughs> I hope you become single again. Just <laughs> what do you mean? Just so I can watch you work. You're an artist. <laughs> You're an artist. Uh, uh, anyway, let's get what back. What are we talking on, about? We've got so topic. much news to talk about. How long have we been like, talking for? We could legitimately start another podcast. I reckon travel we stories. Should. We got Maybe so, we should I keep got going so and then do a second podcast straight after this. No, no, no. We let's go to the stories. That was good. There's so many that stories though. We'll just get to a few. Oh, let me talk about my one that I put in there, guys. Because this isn't a, a virus related. This is just the most interesting thing I've ever heard. It's one of those ones where it's like a movie, what happened, okay? Tom, have you ever heard of Ronaldinho? I have. Soccer. That's, That's all I know. Very good. That's all I know about him. At one point, he, team? he was the best soccer player in the world. He's Brazilian. He's fucking incredible. He's one of those guys with just too much natural talent. He didn't mm. have the work ethic of like a Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi. It's but his son, isn't it? Cr- Ronaldo's son is Ronaldinho. No, it was weird though. There was like a Ronaldo from Brazil, then a Ronaldinho. Then there was a Cristiano Ronaldo from Portugal. Jesus, and they're all fucking it's too much. Too much Ronaldos. Yes, mix up the names. Call some Kevin's. Anyway, so you guys, so he's a big deal. He used to play for Barcelona. He had a lot of big Europe teams. He got arrested in Paraguay for having a fake passport. Strange. So he's on actually on country arrest in Brazil. He is. Yeah. He did something in the Amazon and didn't pay the fine. So he's like owes the government a lot of tax. And so they've put said you they tore up his passport saying you can't go anywhere. And he's like, I'm Ronaldinho, I'll do what I want. What do you do in the Amazon? Um, I wonder if it says. Uh I'll double check. Chop down some trees. It may not have been the Amazon. Maybe it was just tax. He hasn't paid his tax or something. Mm. There's a lot of sketchy shit like yeah, failed to pay a six point five million dollar fine. That's, That's in euros. That's a big fine. Um, because they were convicted of illegally building a fishing trap in Brazil without proper licensing. That must seems too much for that. It must have been like a whole fishing fucking plantation type thing, right? But still, six point five million. That's a lot. That's why that's I think. Euro that's why I think well. it was in the Amazon because it was such a big fine. Jesus, why is he doing that? 
Like, why are you in the fishing game, bro? You got <laughs> enough money. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Don't make tuna, bro. So he's prevented to leave the country. They tore up his passport. Didn't stop him from being named one of the country's ambassadors for tourism late last <laughs> year. <laughs> I love Brazil so much, I don't leave. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not allowed. <laughs> so he's like a face of Brazil. Amazing. Then he's like, I want to go to Paraguay with his brother. So he used fake passports. <laughs> he's one of the most recognizable men in South America. He uses fake passports. Is a different name. Listed his uh, in nationality as Paraguayan. He still put his first name as Ronaldo. Oh, bro. Well, well it's not Ronaldinho. Last name de Assis Morea. And he put himself as a uh, Paraguayan. Um, and they all know, everyone knows who he is. It's still the yeah. same picture. It's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. He did not do anything to his hair, nothing. Like glasses, put his hair up or something. Like, come on, bro. He gets arrested. They're taking photos with the people who arrest him because he's like a god. Everyone fucking yeah, loves yeah. him. So he's getting a special treatment. It's like uh, he's just hanging out at the airport with him, whatever. Gets sent to jail. In this jail, there is a football tournament. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie The Longest Yard? Yes. It's legitimately the plot of that, but real life. So there's a football tournament. Originally, he's like, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play. I, don't, I just want to do my time, whatever. I get sent out. And then one of the team's like, no, nah, come play for us. Okay. And he gets boots sent in. It's uh, just futsal. It's not a... Uh, and um, biannual futsal tournament. He got involved in a game. He scored five in an 11-2 win for his prison side. <laughs> <laughs> and the winning team gets a 16 kilo pig for the barbecue. Fuck yeah. <laughs> he went from winning a World Cup to playing in prison. What the fuck? Imagine being one of those How long prisoners. is he in prison for? He's still there at the moment. They just need to what sort some shit out. Fuck? Imagine being one of those prisoners. That is crazy. That's so fucking There he weird. is just running around. Everyone's stoked. They're getting photos with him. It's the one prisoner who's probably not going to get it shanked. He kind of looks like the guy um, climbing in your window <laughs> and snatching your people up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually does. When he wears the bandana. He actually does. Uh, that is funny. So, he's, yeah, that's that's uh, he's still in prison. I don't think there's another futsal tournament coming up, though, but <laughs> it's very interesting because he's only, like, 40 still, so he's still good enough to play. He could play in the A League. He'd be the best player in the A League if he played. If you went to jail for a fish related <laughs> incident <laughs> and there was a stand up competition, would you go in it? Fuck oh I would. <laughs> oh actually no. Oh actually. Yeah. Yeah. Who's trying to make me go in the competition? The warden. He's like, Hey, listen here, boy. Yeah. You want to make it in this prison? Yep. You gotta do time. And I mean time on stage. Oh, I don't warden, I just wanna keep my head down and get out of here. You ain't going to sit down. You're going to stand up, if you know oh. what I mean. Stand up comedy. Well, then I'd really just... Uh, wh why? What, why, do, why? Well, these prisoners need giggles like everyone else. They're in their cells. They're on quarantine. How long do I have to do, Warden? Two hours. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll do it. Cool. I'll do it. Sick. And then I'll just roast the warden the whole two hours. Oh, yeah, yeah brutal. Yeah. And then I'll get all the inmates on my side and I'll get killed by the prison guards <laughs> but what would you rather do if you were doing stand up in a prison yeah that's where we're going guys would you rather roast the inmates or the guards and the warden definitely the guards and the warden but they've got all the power true but they're not allowed to kill you but they're not allowed they're not allowed but they could but if you but roast the more inmates they the can inmates. just keep you in ISO nah I think what you need to do is uh, get famous enough or rich enough that if you get done for a fishing-related crime, uh, you get sent to one of those nice prisons. Apparently, that's not an option. The richest man ever just got... Old Good. fish boy got sent to... Well, I think store. he's in a nice one if he's playing soccer. That image they're getting, looks They're shit. getting 16 kilo pigs. <laughs> true. Yeah, but that's a nice one in South America. Yeah, true, true, true. Seen Did the you bad see ones that, there? Did you see that old Harvey Weinstein... Finally sentenced to life in prison. Oh, thank fuck. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I listened to a podcast about like those stories and he is a fucking psycho. Uh, it's... He's really fucking intense. Like he's scary. 
He is the worst person. Yeah, he's like a real bully. Since the guy who ate the bat suit. He's all right. Oh, is he? He just likes a bit of a wild snack. He didn't know that shit was I can't happen. even read half the Harvey Weinstein stories. I have no idea how it took so long to come out. Yeah. Crazy. Money. Power. Money. What other stories you got for us, Tom? Let's bang a few. Let's bang a few little, uh, a few little trending topics. Um, one trend that's happening at the moment, um, you'll be happy to hear, is uh, the coronavirus challenge where TikTok users are licking toilets and doing shit like that. Yeah, I'm about that. So this chick um, licks the toilet seat on an airplane. Look at her and look how deep. She really like full tongue spread head but, across. But why? <laughs> Because it's a coronavirus challenge. Oh, if it's a challenge, okay. I forgot it was a challenge. Yeah, yeah okay. So it's um challenged gag reflexes everywhere on Sunday when she uploaded a video of herself licking the toilet seat mm-hmm. of an airplane and captioning yeah. it, coronavirus challenge. Gag it was taken reflexes. down by either TikTok or Ava, but not before it was picked up by Twitter meme account where it racked up 14.8 million views. Hmm. That's good views. Fuck yeah, I'm going to start doing that. 14.8 mil. I don't have a job at the moment, Tom. I'm going to be licking everything. <laughs> I'm what? pressing play on this. Leave a comment what you would like me to lick. I've licked a lot of things, actually. I used to do it what's as well. What's the worst thing you've licked? Oh, I've licked shoes. I've licked uh, desks. I've licked walls. Oh, f- oh, she could have licked it harder, to be honest. It was still disgusting. Yeah, she looks like she doesn't know how to give a blowjob, to be honest. That kind of was not... That was not <laughs> a lot of effort. No, yeah. but like just based on that. Yeah, could have committed. Could have committed. Mm. Should have choked on that toilet seat. <laughs> um, now I've licked a lot of things actually What wouldn't you lick? I'm trying to look around the room There's not that much gross shit in here No there's not um, I guess anthrax The powder Yeah mm. Pussy Yeah little pussy Little pussy boy. Don't want to lick some anthrax. Hmm? Scared of it. Hmm? Little pussy boy. <laughs> 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 Fine, I'll lick the anthrax. Yeah, Fine. got him. <laughs> Peer pressured. <laughs> oh, here's a story. I'll get it up on my phone so we can listen. This one's good. Um, <laughs> at Macquarie Uni. Oh, oh yeah, good. Um, there was a very funny situation where a lecturer was halfway through a... Um, speech it was like a law law class and she was talking about something and then she noticed something uh suspicious going on in her lecture hall and basically a guy was getting a hand job and was busted by the lecturer and she was recording it and streaming online so someone's got the audio of the conversation she did not turn off the microphone so there's the audio of the conversation i saw this pop up in our chat but i didn't actually listen to it yeah, Is well, she good? she's actually enjoying herself. She she finds the humor in it, and she's kind of having a bit of oh, fun you with it. Oh, listen to it. Yep. Um, and this isn't on any of the big news sites, by the way, guys. We got this from a Facebook group. We got so mm-hmm. we got a little mole in the know. I think you may be able to guess who that is. I think it is. It is out there. Oh, now. it's out there now. <laughs> Damn it! I yeah, thought we I were. I thought it was a scoop. I thought uh, we got a scoop, Tom. It was a scoop, but we don't record. We got to give the people scoops if we want to get big. You're thinking of ice cream salesmen. If we want to get. Joe Rogan, big. Other such acts and other such things. Let's have a listen. Let's go a bit more into term. Oh my god! Give me a minute. Give me a minute, guys. I just want to bleach my eyes and my brain. Um. Okay. I love you all, but give me one sec. We're gonna we're gonna have to have a talk now. Jesus. <clears throat> all right. She explains it. She explains it. Um, so I I know that the that precedent is a very sexy topic, and I know that I love it when my audiences <laughs> are excited and animated and engaged, <laughs> dear Lord. Um, but but there's a limit to that, and ironically, it's the law law students and the student code of law. conduct that governs law that. Uh, so that being said. Dear Lord, um, if, if you'd like it. to have special love time with your partner, um, 
if if he'd like to if he if if he'd like to spend time with your partner, um, there are some perfectly sanitized and malleable bean bags over at Muse, and I'm sure that there are. There's, I'm sure that there's an empty cinema around here still trying to make the movie Cats work. It's empty. Go for your life. Uh, but, and this is the second time I'm saying this in my career. Uh, no, no below the belt touching in my lecture theatre, please. Fuck. Um, it gets more hectic. I'm not going to name and shame. They will know. You might as well. <laughs> She makes it more obvious. I'm not going to All name right, um, Tom Armstrong. Mr. Lund, uh, just, just to qualify, just to qualify, um, this is a mentoring unit, so I, I will give some sort of mentorship here. Advice. The strategic placement of the hoodie on the lap only draws the eye more. And... Um, yeah, and I, I just mind that. Okay, I'm going to put my hands away. I'm not going to mind that. Uh, I, I said before that I was glad that they kept the university open today. I don't know. Um, although I guess if we actually enforced that 1.5 meter rule, I wouldn't be having this conversation with you now. She's bantering. Yeah, she's got bantering. Jesus bro. Christ, commencing class of 2020. She's working I do love here. you. Well, remember this fondly. And I'll remind you of this moment at graduation. Uh, let's get back to it. She tries to get back into it, but can't really shake the feeling of uh, people jerking off and watching her. I, I hate that it happened in that profession. I feel like lawyers should be better. I feel like you shouldn't be able to pass the bar if you get caught Public getting a man. hand job yeah, yeah. in the fucking lecture. Like, how unnecessary is that? Like, lectures, you don't even need to go to. No. Unless they, like... Was well, he going to come in his fucking pubes? Unless it was like they were sitting next to each other. And walk around with pube cum the whole day? What if they were sitting next to each other? Strangers. Oh, okay, I'm listening. They kind of catch each other's eyes. Mm. And this is all in the heat of the moment. This wasn't yeah. a planned thing. She sounded hot, the lecturer. I will say that. She had banter. I'm she really impressed. Hot. I feel like she's going to get a bit of backlash because she handled that in a not very professional way. No, she was like... Just keep she was going. having a bit of fun. She was getting yeah, off she, on it. She was like, I know I'm a mentor. So anyway, keep go going, on, Daddy. Go on. So they just met. They're strangers. Mm. Yeah. And they locked eyes and mm. they they were saying it all without speaking because you can't speak in lectures. True. So this romance was all just physical and they couldn't resist. So it's not really their fault. The chemicals was too strong. So it's The like chemistry... It's, you're saying it's like Romeo and Juliet. Just yeah, they know they shouldn't. Two star-crossed lovers. Mm-hmm. No, they shouldn't. The lecturer's trying to keep them down. But a hand job. They were hurting for a squirting. A hand job. Mm-hmm. Well, how does... Do you reckon they planned it? He's like, you and this lecture try to fucking whack me off. Maybe what happened is... <laughs> they were like, we're not allowed to handshake, but I want to greet you. Yeah, that's true. That mm-hmm. could have happened. Because they they didn't say anything about... They didn't mention hand, hand to jobs. Penis. They did not. They, they said, should Don't have. go hand to hand. They said sneeze in your elbow, um, fist no, bump. Fist bump. Go Jazz hands. And like you can still keep 1.5 metres away if you've got long arms. True. I could probably I could probably jerk you off. 1.5 metres away. Now? I probably could. I'm saying I'm not. We're can not we going put like to. an online lecture? We're on? not going to. We're not no. that desperate. Oh for, no, no, we're not definitely. that desperate for streams yet. Definitely not. I'll begin there. Yo, that's a good market. You know how you said I was going to be a win- window washer. Mm. Window washer, happy ending. Yes, that is. So good. it's like I wash their windows. I'm like, do you want a happy ending? And they're like, lights are still red. Bit of traffic is like, yeah, fuck, why not? Just reach your hand in, and it's just mm. a business transaction. It's not absolutely. It's not weird. Do you then clean the cum off the inside of the window? Mm, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, that's I good do. service. That's service. That is service. <laughs> Where was he gonna come? Just in his pants. Just in his pants. Worth that's it. the grossest part, I think. Really? I think that's the grossest. That's the grossest part. part. Yeah. You ever come in your own pants, bro? For sure. It's fucking gross. It sticks in your pubes and shit. You well, shave not all of us have full bush like you. Yeah, I need a trim, actually. 
<laughs> I really do. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was a visual, guys. Yeah, that really was. It was a visual. But I, I love that story. That's very funny. Macquarie Uni. I'll be saying, um, I'll be dropping a full merch line soon too, guys. Fuck, you better, bro. So you can support me. You're getting on OnlyFans, aren't you? How much money do you reckon you I can make on, on OnlyFans? Only fans. You could, I'll do you could some offer sh- some shit that's not sexual. I'll do some shit. What? Oh, what? Not sexual shit. Well, like you what? can do sexual if you want. Like my accents? I got pretty good accents. Yeah, sexy accents. You could do like phone sex. Like, I am taking off my pants now. Maybe if uh, <laughs> girls want to pretend they've got a hot Swedish boyfriend. Give us a go. I am I am Susie's hot Swedish boyfriend. That's good. My name is Ikea. Oh, <laughs> Could not think of a name. name. Ike, Ike, they call me Ike. I am nice. So, girls, if you want to get a hot Swedish boyfriend, maybe make your ex jealous. Mm. You know what I mean? I am him. Me and uh, Susan have many sex. Nice. That's good. Pretty good. Okay, what if um <laughs> I want a sexy German robot? You've used that before. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I. How was my accent? I can't even remember. <laughs> Achtung, I am sexy German <laughs> robot Hans. But I don't have Hans because I am a robot. That's good. Thank you. Mm. Okay. What, a, what a time. One more story, then we'll get into some um, reviews and we'll finish it off, I think. Uh, oh, good to talk to you guys again. It's been a long, it's been a minute. It's been a minute, that's what they say. That's what we say. I'll get it's this one up. I'll get it's been a one. minute. I saw this one. Uh, 60 think, seconds it's been. I think our man Mark sent it in to uh, the podcast. He was at uh, the trial show. Shout out, Mark. Shout out. Shout, Shout out. out. Oh, is this the one? The worst news ever? I don't think so. Oh, well, I'm going to go into this one. <laughs> okay. No, no, you get that no, ready. One more. Only one more. You're like, okay, the virus takes Melbourne Comedy Festival away from me. Fine. Mm-hmm. Takes... Fresh air away from me. Fine, I'll stay inside. <laughs> Takes Tom Hanks away from me. Not actually that worried. Oh, come on, his, bro. He's his best actor. days are behind him. He's a great actor. His best days are behind him. No. What's he done good lately? Sully? That was a long time ago. <laughs> exactly. He's done Tell me what's he good, done good lately. I know he's been in something, but... It's what have you done for me lately? Toy Story. That's the world the we live in. One. No, they shouldn't have even made that Toy Story. There was a fork. Yeah, it was a fucking fork story. <laughs> it was a fork story. <laughs> He was the fork too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's multi-talented. But I'm saying a lot of things have been taken away because of coronavirus, because of COVID-69. That's COVID-69. We've reached the end of the... It can't get worse than this. Buddings to suspend sausage sizzles from tomorrow due to coronavirus impacts. They're going to do like something else? No, they're not moving to two-minute noodles or sausage rolls. Is that what you're thinking? Mm-hmm. Or a uh, like, um, little pork dogs. bun, little pork bun. Yeah, bun me. Bun me. A little Alexa. Mm. A little pizza. No, none of that. That's some fucking so bullshit. So they're just suspending it. You go down to your Bunnings, you will never be able to get a sausage sizzle snag again. Again? You sure it's not Apparently just... Apparently the virus was hiding in, uh, in discount sausages and onion and bread. They should hide the virus in the barbecue sauce. That's how you get Maybe it was hiding. They don't know where it was hiding. That's why they have to cancel it. But it was hiding somewhere in that uh, sausage sizzle. Shit. Yeah, the so onions. They, they, they just had to... My, maybe the onions. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting off track. I'm looking up our <laughs> reviews. Uh, it's so sad. This is... This is so weird. But the, I reckon in two weeks, everyone will be used to it. They'll be like, yeah, this is our life now. This is our life. Hmm. A lot of people can work from home. You tell you what, though, I think you shouldn't be able to collect rent during this time. Some places have cancelled rent. Um, Fuck off. Yeah, like in Canada, I think in. Uh, I think they should Italy? cancel rent in Italy, Australia. Rent and mortgage payments, they stop. I think they need to stop rent. I'm they not, do. If I'm people aren't stop. working, they should fucking. You know what? They should, government should help us I'm out. I'm going to be a pioneer. I'm going to stand up for the little guy and I'm going to stop paying my own rent. So just your other housemates will have Yeah, they're going to gonna fucking it. take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to encourage them to do the same. Well, they're going to evict us in the time of need? No. Sus- rent is suspended, guys. I've decided. You're welcome. Wow. You are or doing you a great job what? as president already. If they don't suspend our rent, 
Pirate. Let's get the pirate shit back. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. Okay. Coup time. It's coup time. It's we coup overthrow time. the fucking government. Let's go. Who's with me? Have we got a good motivational coup speech, maybe? <laughs> coup um, speech. I reckon a big winner, Oscar. How do you music? spell coup? The time seen. has come. Here you go. The time has come, Australia. They've taken our toilet paper. <laughs> they they stopped the boats Coo. to come with coronavirus, not the other thing. And it's time for someone to step up. Coo. Someone needs to take charge. Someone needs to overthrow the government with machetes. Someone with pirate experience. That someone is all of us, but mostly Frenchie. Frenchie. He's going to lead a coup against the government, and it's gone to a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And these congratulations, you're the president. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was we've, a fucking journey. We haven't done the podcast in so long, we've forgotten what the buttons do. Mm. Uh, just like a pussy. Well, excuse me? We've forgotten I'm what the buttons do on that because we don't, doesn't matter. All right, so let's get into some reviews now that Frenchie's president. Uh, he, is, is this allowed? Mm, yes. Okay, thank Go you. Go on. My friend Simo won't listen to this. I tell Simo all the time how good this is, but he won't give it a try. Fuck, Simo. This might be the one, Simo. This might be the time that you finally listen. Uh, President Sim- Frenchie will <laughs> deport your fucking ass. Simo, I don't know who you are, mm. but if you fuck with me, I will find you. Oh, my God. And I will take everything you love, like Liam Neeson. Oh, my God. President French? Yes. Nah, Simo, you get around it, bruv. You fucking... Actually, nah, fuck Simo. We don't need him. We don't need Simo. We're not going to beg soon. We're not going to beg. Soon, though. Well, next week we'll be begging. begging. Simo, come back. Come on, bro. Well, that's a very specific... uh, Very specific review. Mm. Oh, well. Just I want to let him know about Simo. This try to get Simo because we do try to get tell you to tell your friends, guys. I got nothing yeah. to do. If you're, That's you're how at you can home donate. and you because uh, we Tom was saying that a lot podcasts are often listen to on the drive on the commute. Mm, if you're or stuck the at walk. home. You can even li- you can even watch it. Look at our sexy faces. Yeah, you can watch it on YouTube at Tom and Frenchy podcast. You just what, search that shit. You, what did you say I look like? What did what? Why are you looking at me? You, I was trying to think what you look like. You kind of look like... I don't think I said you look like anything. No, the, the window washer. That was, got my window that was a long time ago. Why well, I'm saying they can see... The, fuck. This is... Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Frenchie, your dog. Frenchie, your dog, the boys. You kicked my miso out of the Gosford show. Oh, did oh, we read did that? Oh, did that one, yeah. What date is Frenchie, it? Frenchie, your dog. Mm. There's a lot Frenchie, of old your ones. fucking dog. We'll give, leave us some more five star reviews, yeah, guys. Go over to the podcast app. Leave some five star reviews. I've dropped a new Thompson's video. If that gets to ten thousand likes, I'll make a part two to it, which is a nice. lot. It's on five at the moment. Might get there, might not. Um, Tom hasn't dropped a video, but just I'll just, think about it. Just give him thoughts and prayers. Yeah, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts be and nice. prayers for Tom. Hmm. Um, send me your sausage chisel recipes because I'm gonna have to cook my own. And we've got uh, two episodes next week. Ooh. So head over to patreon.com slash Tom and Frenchie to show your support. And also tell a friend if you don't have any money. We want suggestions for any excursions too. Tom may have a free day one weekend and we may do something cool. Yeah, if you think of something. You yeah. Without your shit fucking huge gatherings. We can't go to gatherings of jugglos and shit. like. Oh, know. that was my brother's other ideas. Oh, I didn't read it because I didn't really fully get it. He's like... um. I reckon if you start a joke group for a protest and get 10,000 people, mainstream media will pick it up. Protest because you can't get toilet paper. Gigs cancelled, ETC. Mm. Yeah, I know. But a protest, like people getting together. Yeah, that's why That's the why he wants it. He think, it's funny. I get that part of it. That's funny, but we will actually get fined. Will we? I'd say we will. We just tried to overthrow the government, Tom. So <laughs> oh, we are the government now. <laughs> we are the government. Frenchy, are we so allowed to do this event? Um, as long as you don't build any fishing uh, traps. True, true. That's all I care about, fishing. Hide your kids, hide your wives, guys. It's getting real out there. It is getting real. Uh, Stay safe. Um, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Um, don't, don't give hand jobs at lectures. Don't. Or do. Would a blowjob be, have been preferable? Hmm. Depends on technique if it was under the hoodie again I feel like the arm would be shaking it'd be very obvious I th- that's what why she saw it what he really needed was like a uh, what would he could he put on it like a you know the thing where you like tuck your shirt 
your arm out of your shirt. Yeah. yeah. Get a glove out the jumper. So it's like, oh no, his hand's there. He can't be oh. wanking himself. <laughs> then it just looks like he's jerking <laughs> off. That doesn't solve the problem. Yeah, it just it looks like he's wanking himself. No, no, no. You, that was a genius idea, Tom. So you put your right hand into your jumper and the left hand and the, the sleeves all floppy. Mm. You get a glove, attach it to the jumper by this part. Mm-hmm. And you leave the glove on the seam in front of you. Mm-hmm. Your left hand's on the seam in front of you too. Mm. Your hands are here. So you start jerking off. Even if she's seen movement down there, she sees both of your hands. Oh, but there's two people involved. She does the same thing? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay. No, I was thinking just jerking myself off. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, you I'm, were, weren't you? I, I was related to the other to my, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what lecture? <laughs> There's another person oh, jerking there's you person? off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I was thinking for the self. <laughs> self. <laughs> um, All right, yeah. guys. Uh, lots of love. Uh, s- goodbye.